All right, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, whatever it is when you watch this video, Gemini, just make it apply. Gemini, this is your May reading. All right, let's get this thing started. All right, just uh, our general message, like we say all the time, is that remember that this is a general reading, so it's not going to apply to every Gemini out there. So if you're one of the Geminis that it doesn't apply to you, then look for another video um, of a zodiac sign is somewhere in your chart. So if your rising sign is Sagittarius, look at the Sagittarius reading. Is your If your moon sign is Taurus, look at the um, Taurus reading, reading to see if it resonates. Now, if you want to make sure that no matter what it resonates, then you need to book a reading. I do spiritual life coaching sessions um, and I charge $60. That consists of two readings in the session. Uh, so it's basically, um, you know, the first one is a general reading to see what it is the spirit is trying to convey. And the second one is specific to whatever it is that you want. All right, let's get this thing started. Oh, guys, so this is going to be my last month actually showing my face. You know, um, for the next year, I'm just going to show the cards only. Uh, I practice Ifa, which is African spirituality. So um, I'm actually getting ready to get crowned. And if any of you know that process, one of the things that um, you can't do when you're in your year white is showing your face. So for the next year, I won't be showing my face. Even if you sign up for a personal reading, it will just be you know, uh, showing you the cards and speaking to you and stuff, everything but showing my face. <sighs> Gemini, it's okay, you already got the moon card. I don't like the moon card as much. All right, you have the union for the crossing. What is it, crowning energy? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, kind of guess you need to put things in order. First mm -mm -mm. week is going to be prosperity. Okay, there we go.
Okay, uh, Gemini, let's see what is in the cards for you. So first, um, I like to do the the runes, especially now since I actually have mine back. <laughs> and so um, the rune that you actually have, it talks about it talks about signals, inspiration, speech, the voice of the goddesses, true vision, and synchronicity, being synced um, to something. So let's go ahead and see how that message is going to play into the reading. Because um, especially with um, signs, you know, um, it could be a possibility, signs and tr true vision and um, the voice of the goddess, it's a possibility you're probably... Um, you're probably been um, spoken to and you're not listening. That there's things, there's, there's things that you need to be paying attention to and you're not listening. So this could be a time that you're getting a lot of numbers and all of this other stuff to get your attention. And you're just, nope, I'm not paying attention to it. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do my own thing. All right. So you have for your overall energy, you have the moon card which talks about an illusion and it talks about, so, you know, um, the moon card talks about delusions. The moon card could talk about there's manipulation and trickery at play, or it can talk about that. It's just simply something that you don't know. Um, and so the, the cards, uh, man, the cards that you have is you have the six of swords, as one of your clarifiers, which talks about problems, and it talks about an unfavorable judge, um, judgment in a lawsuit, unwanted marriage proposal, and you're overwhelmed by crisis. Um, you feel the inability and an inability to cope with day-to-day -day problems. So, of course, the Six of Swords it talks about a lot of problems, and you putting yourself in basically in a position to kind of claim your life back don't let this thing overtake you and then you also have it paired with the three of pentacles and it's saying that this is a good time um this is a good time for new team projects and good business um, ventures um the three of pentacles is all about uh teamwork and so your illusion uh, which the moon is representing is that highlighting problems that you're trying not to discuss, you know, trying not to, you're trying not to see. Because, you know, even with like the, the rune that came out that is saying that, you know, signs and symptoms that, you know, um, maybe you're trying not to look at your reality for what it is that you keep trying to tell yourself that things are different but it's like, you know, no, they're not, you know, and it's like pretending that a problem um, isn't here. It doesn't mean that the problem is not there. The problem is still there and it's still creating all of these different things in your life. You know, the only thing is, is that you're ignoring it. So let's let's go. Let's um, you have the three of cups uh, as your crossing energy. Now, the three of cups, it talks about, especially depending on what this clarifier, uh, what clarifier come out, we might be talking about a relationship. You have the hermit card where it represents, you know, I, I think we might be talking about a lover here, uh, Gemini, because we have the three of cups, which talks about a reunion. It talks about you connecting with someone again and you have it paired you your clarifier is the hermit card which represents that deep search the hermit card is always being represented by that deep search you're pondering you're looking for answers and so the with the moon With the moon card out now, Gemini, is that I, I would not be surprised
I would not be surprised if this is talking about a relationship and it's like you refuse to see what's on your end. It's like you can see everything on the other person end, but you're refusing to see what's on your end. Like you're refusing to see the things that you did. Like if especially if this is a coming back, that two people are coming back together. It's like you're giving this person the hardest time, but it's like you're not acknowledging any of the problems and stuff that you caused. So the moon could be representing its two things is that number one there is an illusion and the illusion is you thinking that you're without fault you're thinking that you like oh well i didn't do anything it's just you 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 know he cheated on me he did this and it's like just because somebody could have did the the biggest thing in a relationship it doesn't mean that the, it renders the other person innocent because whenever a relationship fails, it fails because of two people and not one. Because, you know, just like you can easily say that, OK, well, he cheated on me, that other person can easily say and it doesn't justify their action, but they can easily say, but you were never there. You were never at home. You were always at work. You know, and it's like you got a grown ass man in your house that's horny as hell. And it's like, you know, I'm tired of jacking off. You know, I'm tired of doing this. And so, you know, it's like, you know, and then, of course, you know, people always. Oh, but that don't justify it. Don't justify it. But it teach you a lesson for your next relationship. It teach you it teach you a lesson if if this next person is coming in. It's like, you know, come on, you, you can't put somebody in a position of saying that, you know, hey, I want you to be in a monogamous relationship that I only want you messing around with me and nobody else, you know, in the whole nine yards. And then you're not there to give that person their needs. You know, it's like that. that's not how it works, you know, and. That's why some people are against monogamy relationships is that people don't understand the pressure that comes with being in a monogamous relationship because now is everything is on you. All of the expectations of what it is that, that I'm supposed to experience sexually and everything else is only supposed to come from you. And so it's like, you know, what a great pressure, especially when you don't have the time. So definitely the moon is talking about an illusion is that you're not seeing things and it's specifically saying that you're not seeing the problems. So you're not seeing the problems that you could have possibly created or was the start was a cause and effect of what the other person did. And it's like you're not seeing that this could have been a really good partnership. That's what the moon is saying that this this possibly could have been a really good partnership. And now because of that, you have the, the three of cups with the hermit that one of you is considering reuniting, whether it's the other person, Gemini, or whether it's you, one of you are thinking about starting this thing over that, you know, you see, you're starting to see the benefits. You're starting to see the reason why you were with this person. And so it's like, look, trust me. In a relationship, it's a lot of things that you can, you know, um, work and get, you know, it, it, you can work on, you know, and it's like, maybe this is one of the things that you're going to end up working on. You have um, the king of the ocean for your crowning energy, and it talks about order, which I love the crowning energy because it put a tie, it kind of breaks the tie, breaks the, the energy between the overall and the crossing. Let's see. And I say, you know, the way that you're going to end up getting this thing in order uh, is, is definitely going to be, number one, seeing your fault. You know, it's going it's, it's, it's gonna to be seeing your fault. It's like, oh, you know, it's like, okay, Gemini, we, we heard, you know, for the thousand for the thousandth time what the other person did no it's like okay no what did you bring to this <laughs> and it's like you it can't keep being oh none i'm i'm perfect 
You know, I don't know what that person was tripping on. It's kind of like in an interview when I ask somebody, you know, what is your greatest strength and what is your greatest weakness? People can go on and on and on about their strength. But then weakness, it's like, oh, no, nah, I don't even get that, bro. You know, I don't even know. I don't even know what a weakness is. <laughs> and it's like everybody got a weakness. The purpose of that question, if you ever get asked in an interview, is to take something that you can turn back around to a strength but you still want to at least acknowledge the weakness. You know, my um, my weakness is, you know, uh, time management skill. And the reason why is because once I get started on a project, I, I got to keep going until it's completed. So if that means that I have to work past, you know, five o'clock, so be it. Because I have to make sure that everything is completed before I'm able to start the next um, project. You know, um, if that means that I have to work two hours over in order to meet the deadline of giving you this project by the end of the day, then so be it. That is how you would answer the question. All right, um, your um, clarifier. Your clarifier is, you know, uh, putting your self-interest, self the five of swords, which talks about putting, uh, put your self-interest and self perse perseverance first. So it's a possibility that you know the thing that um I I can look at this in in two different ways. Because All right, I, we'll, we'll just keep it simple. You know, with the with the Five of Swords, it's a possibility that a lot of these problems could have started is because you didn't put yourself first. You know, it's like you, you constantly put the other person first. And so now, you know, that's one of the things that, um, that gave, that was a problem in a relationship is that you constantly put the other person first. And so it's like, you know, that's a problem in and of itself. And so especially with the runes when it's saying, you know, uh, signals, there could have been a lot of signals in this relationship where it's like, you know, be careful, wait a minute. You know, it's like signals is red flags and it's like all the red flags was ignored, but it's definitely, um, the order that it's talking about, it's like, once again, learning how to put yourself first. All right, let's go through this week. The uh, the first week with the um, the, the the first the very first full week of May, you have the um, Ace of Pentacles, and so the Ace of Pentacles it talks about um, prosperity. I love it. Let's see what that clarifier is gonna be. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles is talking about prosperity, and the Ace of Pentacles is also, you know, um, Aces is, you know, um, a new beginning. Aces is always represented by new, um, a new beginning. And so the clarifier, you have the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is talking about sorrow, you know. Um, and so there's going to end up being a great deal of sorrow on the first week of um, May. That there's going to be sorrow and loss. There's going to be arguments with a lover, um, marriage separation, incompatible lovers. You know, so it's like uh, you're going to be going through the first week. There's there's, there's probably going to be a lot of um, a, a lot of arguments and everything else. The um the first week of uh, May. So once again, it's still connecting to this energy above. And it's it's and, and like I said, you know, I think the best thing for you to get out of this um, problem, number one, is, you know, look at, you know, um, look at what you brought to the table of these problems as well. You have um, you have intuition, you have the high priestess in reverse for the second week, which means that you're not using your intuition and then. Um, you know, um, you have the moon card 
that now you have the moon card twice on the board. The moon card came out as the clarifier. And so especially with the moon card up here as your overall energy and this saying that, you know, um, you have a lot of problems that you're not admitting to and that you um, and that. But this is still a good time for a partnership. And so it's like, yeah, there's there's problems but it's like if you can admit your problem too, you guys can probably work this thing out. But you don't want to admit your problems. And now it could be threatening this teamwork. And so it's like, yeah, of course, when um, the moon said that in the beginning, that explains this. That, expl it, that explains this breakup, that this prosperity and stuff that you have with this person is getting ready to break up. Is, is so, you know, and then especially with prosperity pinnacles, maybe you have houses and stuff like that together. Maybe you have a business together, but it's getting ready to break because you two are getting ready to break. And now the, the second week, it's like you're still not using your intuition and specifically on your intuition. It's, it's like you're not you're not seeing like like this could be fixable and this could definitely be something um, that you can just bring to the table, um, talking about, you know, like, Hey, maybe I should stop doing this, you know? Um, and like some of it is you just not putting you first. So it's like you allowing the person to run over you. But it's like, when I see that, that allowing the person to run over you, that doesn't mean that the person is always like this bad guy and they're doing this intentionally because it's like, you know, I had to tell, you know, one of my clients before that, um, uh, Whenever we, like, we asked our partners to do something, uh, we're like, oh, you never take me out, you know, uh, you know, you never take me out, you always cooped me up in this house, and it's like now when the person get up and say, okay, I'm going to take you out, you know, let's go, and then you're like, oh, never mind, I don't even want it, you're only doing it because I asked for it, and not because you really want to do it, and it's like, well, you just stolen their opportunity to give you what it is that you wanted. You know, it's like, regardless of how we got here, if that's what you truly wanted was to go out, then go out. <laughs> you have the uh, Page of Pentacles, which talks about an opportunity the third week. And you have, for the clarifier, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, I love because the Queen of Pentacles it signifies a nurturing down to earth woman who shows concerns for others. You know, um, this is somebody that is extremely loyal and her friends and family, you know, sees her as someone that's extremely stable and dependable, help others in need. And um, I think that, you know, what this is saying on the third week is that you have an opportunity to show that you're this person, that you're this queen of pentacles, that you're going to have an opportunity to show that like, look, you know, at the end of the day, I care, you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, I, I really do love you, but you know, this is, um, you know, I, you know, I, I feel this way, you know, because, you know, you never allow me to do things I want to do. You don't give me the sense of freedom, you know? And so it's like, Add what it is that you need at this point. This is going to be the best time for you to talk. It's going to be the third week. Okay. The fourth week, you have the King of Pentacles. I like the King of Pentacles. It talks about it talks about trust. And I, this is good coming from a week of, you know, you have an opportunity to speak. And so now maybe what it is that you said has built some trust between the two of you. Because this is seem like this is something that's very manageable, you know, but it's like you have to you have to get you have to get your you know what you did. <laughs> what you did as well. You need to okay, I don't know how to I end it. I don't think your answer is the spirit guys are doing. Uh, 
Knight of Wands. Yep, Knight of Wands is um is saying rush in. You know, um, I love the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands talks about someone that's confident, sexy, seductive, attractive, full of energy, always in a rush with a lot of nervous energy. That definitely sound like a Gemini. <laughs> so it's all about just rushing in. So it's like rushing in, you know, um, rushing in. And I think it's, you know, rushing in and showing that you can be trusted. That, you know, this is something that, you, you know, this is something that you can do. And I think part of this trust is going to come from, like I said, it's just keep saying, you really need to look at your problems. You need to look at what you brought to the table, what you brought to this. You know, that's that's kind of like the main theme of this reading is just looking at what you brought to the table. <laughs> and um, it's, it's crazy. The card at the bottom of the deck, which is what we don't see coming. You have <laughs> you have the King of Swords, which talks about drama, and it's like, yeah, I think I think you do see this coming, you know, unless unless this haven't happened yet, and you really don't see this breakup coming, but there's definitely drama here, and part of this drama, and then I, I love it. Even the next card, you have the Page of Swords, gossip. <laughs> so. But the Ace of Swords is um, under there too. And that's saying you're going to eventually end up getting victory over this. And I can see you getting victory over this. But part of it is, let's go over it one more quick time. The Moon card is saying that there's illusion. And the part of this illusion is that you're not seeing your problems. You're not seeing what you bring to this. It could be something small. It could be something big, Gemini. It doesn't mean that you're out there cheating, being the biggest hoe. It could just simply be that you're not putting boundaries in this relationship therefore you're not you're feeling restricted you know you're always sacrificing yourself when it comes to this relationship but regardless the um the um the crossing energy is saying that there is going to be a reunion so if you guys broke up it's going to be an opportunity for you to get back together the crowning energy is the king of the ocean is saying that you need to put this thing in order and part of putting this thing in order is stop sacrificing yourself you need to start putting your self-interest and stuff you know um first you know and it's like you know Tell the person, you know, hey, you know, I want to go to the, a sports game. It don't always have to be, baby. You know, and that's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes when people walk over you, it's not purposely. Because it's like you could be knowing what it is that you want to do. But instead of saying, hey, baby, let's go to the game this week. You say, hey, baby, what is it that you want to do for the day? And then... They're not, they're probably not going to think about the game because they don't like the game. And then you can't get mad that they didn't choose the game. And it's like, so start differently. Hey, it's a game playing that I really like, that I really want to go to. Do you want to join me? You know, it's just say it a different way. Um, the first week, expect some heartbreak. You know, there are definitely going to be some arguments and stuff the first week. The second week is saying that you're not going to be using your intuition and you're basically just not going to be seeing your problems once again. So I definitely encourage you to do the opposite of seeing your problem the second week. The third week, there's going to be an opportunity for you to come off a little bit more nurturing. So maybe you have been coming off a little bit cruel or harsh you know, um, before. And then the fourth week, there's going to be an opportunity for you to get some trust. It's like, and part of that trust is going to be you rushing in, you rushing in to deliver a message in some type of way. Um, your advice card, your advice card, you know, it pretty much talks about, um, wisdom. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that because completion, I really don't, Completion and spiritual connection, no, but wisdom definitely, because the wisdom that this reading is giving you is reminding you that you got problems too. You just can't keep focusing on the other person. You know, you can have a, you know, like what I got now from the ancestors, you can have a list of problems of what the other person did, but then when it's time for you to see what you did to it, you see zero. So definitely work on that, Gemini.